Hi everyone, this is Meredith. I'm here to do your reading for Monday, June 11th, 2018. I want to thank you all for sharing, subscribing, all your nice comments. Um, it's a new channel, so feel free to share it around with your friends. Send it to someone you think needs the message. That would be great. I'm using the Bonefire Tarot today, and if you would like to book a private reading, you can do that in the description box below. So let's get started and see what's in store for us today. Oh, nice. We're starting off with the t with the tower. <laughs> we had the tower on the weekend. Um, I said it then, I'll say it now. This card does not scare me. Mm, maybe I'm being a little bold, but uh, most people cringe when they see the tower. It, it means drastic change, dramatic change. It's not a bad thing. Um, I actually like the tower for just that reason, change. When things crumble, when things fall down, we're able to look inside, we're able to take a deep look at things maybe we couldn't see so clearly before. But the tower, um, the flip side to the message with this card is that it brings the ability to rebuild. And the theme of our weekend reading was certainly about rebuilding, stabilizing. Let's see what else we have. Ah, King of Coins in reverse. Ooh, some of us are dealing with a money issue. Maybe we loaned it or we owe it. Um, and there's, there's a problem there. Maybe there's a communication problem with the person we either owe or loaned to. So this situation will benefit from really good forthright direct conversation. Um, perhaps a review of expectations and, well, just honesty honesty big change oh so let's turn over the next cards it's already there nine of cups this is known as the wish card in uh, the tarot the intuition I'm getting at the moment is this is a great opportunity to do some work ahead of time before um, connecting with the person we either owe money property this has to do with material, money, things, objects. Um, maybe we borrowed something or someone borrowed something from us and we'd really like that back and for some reason we're not, we're not asking for it, we're not communicating that. So one of the parties feels injured, maybe both do. This would be a good time to use the energy of the Nine of Cups. Um, Set some intentions ahead of time. Do a visualization and imagine you are having a conversation with this person and talk about the details and the visualization. So lay the groundwork ahead of time and then allow for that conversation to flow naturally in person when that moment arrives. Um, also, separate from this issue the property, the money issue, going back to the tower. What a great combo to see the tower fall and then have the wish card right on top of that. This this also, let me go back to bringing the king of coins in here. Um, when the tower comes down, this could feel like tremendous loss, emotional, physical loss. But simultaneously, you have a gain here. So in the losing, you have a gaining. So what's being replaced is probably way better than what was there before. In our weekend reading, uh, we talked about how towers fall because they're on unstable foundations. And some part of our intuition tells us that we might we might try to make ourselves believe that it's stable, pretend that it's stable, hope that it's stable, but we know there's an inner knowing that it isn't and then it crumbles. We we experience a material, physical, emotional loss of some sort because of it, but we do rebuild. We always rebuild and we always do it better. Oh, nice. The death card. Oh, Scorpio. 
how do we love thee? In as many ways as possible, right? <laughs> Scorpio, you transformers, the death card. Like the, like the tower, the death card is about transformation. This is simultaneous endings and beginnings. Ending, beginning. That's great. That's really something to look forward to. It's likely that something had to fall apart. Feels like the planetary alignments being what they are, and I'm no expert on that, however, does feel intuitively to me as if the planetary alignments are supporting this breakdown, break up maybe. It also feels a bit like life review. This could be hard decisions we made based on less than ideal circumstances where we felt a loss, not just emotionally, but perhaps we lost, we, maybe we walked away. Some of us walked away from people, a relationship, uh, maybe even a really promising venture and the nine of cups is indicative of a completion cycle nine isn't quite ten but it's it's you know the ten of cups is everybody's dream come true this is the dream nearly true <laughs> because it's it's based on all this hard work the journey that we had to walk out of this situation and the feeling that's also coming here from the death card is that there was a lot of self-protection there and that's what's falling away because next to the death card we have the three of cups this is celebration this is being with our friends our family our beloveds uh, the people that we really choose to spend the most amount of time with and there may even be some new people in the mix here that are creating uh, inspired ideas for us and helping us consider new options. So the ending, the ending and the beginning. So life review, a period of self-protection is over. The decisions that we made really supported us to heal through that process and as we were healing we were dreaming a new dream and this feels almost unexpected it does feel unexpected like we got comfortable over here in in our tower we got comfortable uh, in that self-protection mode and we're coming out of that now we're grateful for it, but we are ready to kick up our heels, have some fun, uh, new beginnings, fresh starts. Love this. It's like we're setting our world on fire in the best way possible. We're, we're burning up all this rubble. Let's see what's next. Yeah. Seven. Seven of Wands. This is a heaven-touching earth card. We're... We took up a defensible position. That's what I see on this card. So this, you can see this as a sunrise or a sunset maybe. Uh, the sun is setting on our crumpled tower, but the sun is rising on our new dream. The other message I'm getting intuitively is to take our time. This isn't a time to rush. Over the weekend reading, uh, we came we came to a discovery of how we don't want to repeat certain life experiences. Most likely we will to some degree, but in a better frequency. Um, so the Seven of Wands reminds me of that because we'll go back and forth on these topics. <laughs> We'll defend it, defend it, defend it until we can't defend it anymore or don't want to defend it anymore. My feeling is that's where we are. It's time to have some fun. It's time to enjoy ourselves. It's time to get into this dream, make this dream a reality, embrace um, new options. It's, it's just time to walk away from the rubble for good because New and good things have come into our lives, and they're meant to be celebrated, explored, 
Um, we're meant to have some adventure with it. So the other message on the weekend reading that connects to this for me is that we're, um, we've kind of been living inside of a box and now it's time to get outside of the box. And my guides and angels are talking to me right now about living life out on the edge because that's where real change happens. And that's, um, that's a tantalizing place to be. It's exciting. So let's, let's live out on the edge a little bit. And let's also look at the bottom of the deck. King of Swords. Oh, charming and ruthless. Um, I don't think we need to be ruthless anymore. I think we were ruthlessly protecting ourselves and that that's over. It's not think, it's feel. That's what I feel. Strong protection coming down because we're ready to embrace a new way of being. We've been defending our position for a while and it's just time to move on. That's it. Simultaneous endings and beginnings. All right, folks, that's your reading for Monday, June 11th, 2018. Thanks for watching. Please give it a like and a share. Uh, and again, if you're interested in a private reading, you can book in the description box below. Have an awesome Monday.